Aries, how are you? I asked my mom, what, give me a sign. She's very intuitive. And she said, Aries, to Aries. So we're going to start with you, Aries. I feel we're doing introductions. Like, hi, I'm Cass. Welcome to my channel. So we're just going to go right into it, okay? Um, Aries. I feel like you've been on a very long road that had you integrate a lot of different aspects. You've definitely been in your head, but not necessarily in a bad way. You're learning to integrate the air element into your fire so that you can achieve balance and you are thus opening chakras that are in the ethereal realm. Gracious receptivity. Yeah, you graciously. That's 10 and 4. Graciously embodying. All the knowledge and the wisdom that you learn from 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 life, from a particular life event that had you divinely crowned, male or female. It's like you grew eyes on the back of your head. You were put through love trials that had you realize all the beautiful gifts inside of yourself, but it wasn't without deep transformation. However, you took this transformation as a learning experience. That's integrating air by saying, okay, well, what did I learn from this? And you're also stepping into a space where you are feeling more comfortable expressing your truth. Jupiter um, entered Aries May 10th, 510. And you're gonna notice that you speaking your truth, you taking action on everything that you've learned in order to help others is going to increase. Manifesta, you're gonna be manifesting like crazy, everything. You're gonna bring the color back to life. While going through this air, water integration to your fire, although it was had painful moments, it ultimately helped you align all your chakras. And you've learned enough at this point to be able to start the manifestation process because it has all the colors of the chakras. Like if you notice, they're basically all blue, except the manifest. Dolphins may be important to you, Sunflowers, kiwis, um, your DNA is being activated. It's like you went through these trials for a reason that if they haven't already revealed themselves, they will. You're creating a bunch of new blueprints, meaning through this transformation that you went through, opening your third eye thus your crown chakra you're integrating all the elements and you know lotuses grow in the in the mud but look you formed a pearl there and you're going to enlighten many 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 people oh merging with the divine Again, a very colorful, colorful card. You have the gift of having this intuition where you can propel yourself forward through pure instinct. And that is why you are the Ram and you are number one, the first in the Zodiac. Because you trust your instincts, you are, you initiate you're an initiator, you're a builder, you're comfortable building new blueprints. Right now you're seeing a bunch of endless possibilities on how you want to manifest something. But while, until you get there and while you get into alignment, 
keep this energy of gracious receptivity to, from your higher self and be true to your own truth. Your throat chakra especially is undergoing a massive transformation. I don't do love readings really, but um, if another person pops up, I'll talk about them, obviously. Um, I'm just a channel. Everything that comes through, I pray to Archangel Mike, Archangel Raphael, Yadi Yashua, that it comes out pure. I'm just of service to the highest good. But remember too that I'm just a, I'm still a human being, and um, at times the messages can, as with all tarot readers, the messages can be influenced by our own stories, our own life experience, and our own opinions. So just take note of that when listening to any reader. We have the world. You can be dealing with Aquarius, Leo. Scorpio, Taurus. Remember the colors I was talking about? It's like through these downloads, through going through the alignment, color is coming back into your world. You're feeling free. A huge cycle is, uh, a huge Jupiter cycle is beginning in your sign, which means you're going to experience a whole new world, quite literally, especially in the area of manifestation. You could even be traveling in the near future um, or have travel on the mind. Where do you want to go? Seven of Pentacles. Overturn of the world. You've been planting seeds of light. You've been trying to grow something. You've been focused on and putting your attention towards something or someone. We'll see. Waiting patiently for it to grow. Waiting for the, the timing to be right. So in the meantime, you've been focusing on work. Keeping yourself busy. Keeping yourself grounded. You're connected to the moon very deeply to the areas that I'm speaking to, the phases of the moon. If you're not familiar, maybe study that. And then take note of um, your intuition and what lights up and what happens in your life as those moments happen. It could connect you to something higher because it seems like you've been through, wow, 789. You've been through moments where you had no one behind you no water to drink out in the desert but still held it together and held your fire held your torch creating work-life balance you could be exhausted um from working a lot but by activating your so sacral chakra and balancing it out with with, with your solar plexus it's giving you the confidence and the the passion because action is one thing but passion is a whole different thing and your sacral chakra is being activated by passion this could be initiated by another okay queen of cups three of cups or cups i'd say so this could be initiated by another but ultimately it's you who's doing the work. This thing that you've been watering, waiting for the, the, the leaves to grow and pop out from underneath the soil, the roots that you have planted through thoughts and actions that have firm grounding in the spiritual realm and the ethereal realm that are now finally manifesting out of the soil to a, pl a plant, a something that is now visible in the 3D, in the, in the real world. I don't know, this is strange because I don't know where I want to put these cards. I use my intuition, typically, but...
shall we? Okay, allow me a moment to tap in. Ah, manifestation with the colors. You, you, you were, you're becoming a little bored, a little tired of the routine and the stagnancy and the thinking the same thoughts and putting energy towards the same thing. Kind of tired of waiting, but love keeping you there. And you're starting to look away, looking towards an ending of a new beginning of excitement and of studying and of travel. I keep hearing travel. Ready to merge the part of you that misses your fire. Just not knowing how at the moment because it's almost like making two worlds come together. The 5D into the 3D, but you're doing it. I wouldn't be surprised if the star came out. So tell me about this love that initiated all of this. Your, your passion towards this energy, you know what you want. You know you want reciprocity. You know you want it to be balanced, but you want it to excite you, and it does. It, but you're more, your passion's ahead of your planning. And you may have learned in the recent past that jumping into something too soon ends up in eventually having to walk away and leaving a piece of your fire, a piece of yourself in that water to be dis extinguished but when you look inside yourself when you find something or someone that ignites you that's of a higher purpose someone hold on these are powerful cards but hold on Whatever downloads you're getting are igniting you again. And to be honest, I, I believe you will merge these two worlds together. Queen of Wands, yeah. You're gonna magnetize it to you rather than efforting towards it. And try, focusing more on the, on the good feeling thoughts you think when you think them rather than the reality of you not having it or it not being there. Yeah, look, Hermit and things like that was focusing on the memories and nostalgia or the plants. No, not even that. More so plans for the future because that is how you release the past. You focus on plans for the future. You create the new blueprints. And now... You're becoming the Empress. You're, by, what I mean by that is you're birthing a whole new excitement new beginning new new collaborations don't rush yourself if you don't know where you are or where you're supposed to three kind of close to three lots of threes you could be seeing threes twos a lot as you become into alignment oh the path will become clearer because it's going to be intuitively guided so you can ease in and relax and when you feel that fire burst up again and out and to the point where you can't even hold it in that's when you take action but first you must heal from putting your stability and focus on something that only makes you sad or frustrated when you think about it and it's right next to the six of pentacles this could have been someone who did not Put as much work in that you did and communication wise reciprocity maybe you held it down financially you felt like you were walking on eggshells or like you maybe got angry at some point because promises weren't kept someone who promised you the sun maybe and if this person is so important to you which i feel they are it's not about Oh, well, you're not in my life. I gave you all this. You gave me nothing. So I'm sad and I'm mad at you. No, it's integrating. Remember, create the new blueprints. You have the Six of Cups over here too. Create the new blueprint of thank you for helping me grow. Thank you for allowing me to integrate so much of myself. For putting me through deep transformation. Allowing me to go into a cocoon. Yes, it did hurt. 
Yes, it was painful. Yes, it was a long time. Yes, I worked hard. But look who I am. Look at how strong I am. Look at how I stand tall. Even amidst the heartbreak. Oh, okay. So advice for Aries. Be you. That's your card, Aries. Be you. Do you. Everything everything you're thinking of doing, if you're focused on heavy on work, do it. Do it. Do it. If that is a it's a healthy way to take your focus off and create new blueprints away from this. At first alpha minds, the thoughts about the sadness or the release or the anger, whatever you feel, and make peace with it. Say it. You know, it was divinely guided and so how could I be mad at the person when it was just the person that God or the universe used to help me reach this point where I, I gave so much that now I know how much I can actually give to the right, oh my goodness, to the right person. And there's so much newness coming in that's going to make you feel stable. But it's still fiery. But it's almost like you're building an empire from the struggle. And it's when you listen to your intuition, your heart. Be slow moving, or you know what? Follow your own intuition. Ah, see, I said be slow moving. I didn't see the two of pentacles there. Yeah, because you you maybe rushed in the past, or you waited very long in the past, and it, it's yielded these results. Use the past as a reference, but don't base your current decisions on it. What you need to do is focus on this: trusting your intuition, tuning into your intuition, and seeing how that makes you, and seeing what is your truth. Because the only way to tap into your intuition is to know what your intuition feels like. Is it my intuition? Is it ego? Is it um, lust? Is it promises? Devotion? Is it anything? But tap into it. Pray for discernment. Everything will be fine. You're obviously doing very well. You're creating new blueprints that are going to affect many people in your circle and create a ripple effect in the world so keep going keep doing you